Welcome to me learn Chinese. Hey, it's Rose Lee. I'm hosting a Chinese conversational lesson. In this lesson, you will learn how to use the word 才 to express just. You will also learn how to use the same word 才 to express only. First, let's listen to some conversations. 妈妈，这是我买的新裤子，你看好不好看？好看，多少钱？三十五块，你上个星期才买了一条裤子，是不是？是，可是这条裤子比那条裤子好看。你已经有很多裤子了，不需要新裤子。这条才三十五块，又便宜又好看。静静，你还是个学生，不能这么乱花钱。好，我以后不乱花钱了。妈妈，这是我买的新裤子。你看好不好看？好看，多少钱？三十五块。你上个星期才买了一条裤子，是不是？是，可是这条裤子比那条裤子好看。你已经有很多裤子了，不需要新裤子。这条才三十五块，又便宜又好看。静静，你还是个学生，不能这么乱花钱。好，我以后不乱花钱了。Vocabulary， 好不好看？ Literally means good or not good looking. Does it look good? It's equivalent to 好看不好看 We have learned this kind of pattern before. For example, 是不是 Yes or no. 对不对 Correct or not. Let's look at some more examples. 这是我买的新裤子。你看好不好看 Literally, this is I buy new pants. You look good or not good. These are the new pants I bought. Do you think they look good? 你觉得这条裙子好不好看 Do you think this dress looks good? Using 才 to express the idea of just. Note here that 才 here is an adverb. It's usually put in front of a verb. For example, 我才吃了饭 I just ate. With this 才 in the sentence, it sends a message. I just ate. I don't need to eat anymore. 你上个星期才买了一条裤子 You just bought a pair of pants last week. 才 is here to indicate it's not long since you bought a pair of pants last week. 妈妈昨天才去了超市，今天不想去 Mom just went to the supermarket yesterday, and she doesn't want to go today. 我昨天才借给你八十块钱，现在你已经没钱了。I just lent you eighty dollars yesterday, and now you have no more money. Let's compare these two words, 才 and 刚才 "Cai" is an adverb. It means just, and it's put in front of a verb. For example, 我才吃了饭 I just ate. 刚才 means just now. It is a noun. As a time word, you can put that in front of a subject or after a subject. For example. 刚才姑姑给我打了电话。Just now, Aunt called me. 姑姑刚才给我打了电话。Aunt just called me. 需要 to need. For example, 你不需要太多裤子。You don't need too much pants. 我需要一本笔记本。I need a notebook. Using 才 to express the idea of only. For example, 我才玩了两个小时的游戏。I've only played the game for two hours. 这条裤子才三十块钱 This pair of pants is only thirty dollars. 还 still, for example, 你还是个学生 You are still a student. 他还是个孩子 He is still a child. 乱 We have learned this 乱 before. It means messy. For example, 这个房间很乱 This room is very messy. Here. 乱 is used as an adverb. It means recklessly. For example, 你不能乱说话 You can't talk recklessly. 你不能乱花钱 You can't spend money recklessly. 花 to spend. It can be to spend money, 花钱 or it can be to spend time, 花时间 For example. 你不能这么乱花钱。You can't spend money recklessly like this. 我花了一百块钱买巧克力
I spent a hundred dollars buying chocolate. 我花了五个小时做作业。I spent five hours doing my homework. 你花了这么多时间玩游戏。You spent so much time playing games. Now it's time for a language tip. You might have heard about 成语 Chinese idiom. There is a good idiom to describe a big spender. It's called 大手大脚 Literally, big hand, big foot. This idiom is mostly used to describe a person spending money without restraint. For example, 她花钱大手大脚 Literally, she spends money big hand, big foot. She spends money recklessly. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.